Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Lucas Tyndale Live. Excited to have everybody here on the show. Welcome into the room. If you're watching this by replay, welcome to the replay. Glad you're here. It's okay. If you couldn't watch it live, watch it by replay. And I hope you're watching on YouTube. I mean, but if you're not, it's okay. But we like to get those YouTube views up. We're growing the YouTube channel. We're growing the following. So we really appreciate when people subscribe and hit that bell icon. And then when you hit that bell icon, you hit all and you'll get all the notifications and you'll always know when we're going live. And let me say, we are having family game night, virtual game night this Saturday at 7 p.m. on YouTube only. So follow me at Lucas Tyndale. Look up Lucas Tyndale on YouTube and make sure you're there for game night. We have so much fun, so many laughs, such a good time. It's crazy. You don't want to miss game night. It is super cool. All right. So I want to welcome everybody as you continue to come into the room. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're excited to have you. It's really cool when you come into a live. Sometimes you come in and you're like the first person and you feel kind of awkward and you're like, wow, I just stumbled into this live broadcast and it's just me and him. Hope he doesn't know I'm here. Well, welcome to the show. We're glad you're here. Don't go anywhere. It's okay. Other people are coming. I promise there will be other people here. Welcome to the show. We got a couple people jumping in already. Tyler Thatcher, my man. Thank you for being here. Andrea Hotton, always glad to have you. Appreciate the support. Everybody who jumps in. Last night we had a great show, and tonight we're going to have a great show as well. I want to share a little bit as people get in. Let me check my LinkedIn audience here. I got to make sure the LinkedIn audience is represented, make sure they know I know they're here. I got to check them on my phone, though, so I got to look at them over here real quick and take a look at them. What's up, Sharice? What's up, Joe Kena? Welcome to the show. Shamika Dean back in the house. Shamika, people are still talking about the show last night. I mean, people are going crazy talking about last night's show. I'm still getting messages. I can't keep up with everybody. It was incredible. Miss Shamika Dean, you guys make sure you're following Dr. Shamika Dean, um, who was on the show last night. She did an amazing job. She calls me LL Cool Tyndale. You know what I'm saying? Because she seen me rap once. So y'all don't know that I can flow for real. Like, not really for real, for real, but a little bit. Okay, I can flow a little bit. Okay, so she had saw that. So, you know, she, re she, she respects my skills. Lester Sanders, welcome back. Thank you for being here. My man, Lester Sanders was on. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel and check out that episode where we talked about getting ready for college in spite of the craziness going on right now. Kids aren't even finishing their senior year of high school and they're supposed to go to college. We got to figure out how to get them enrolled. We got to figure out how to get them help. We got to figure out how to get them scores to the schools and the enrollments and all the stuff that the school counselors used to do. We got to get it done. If you want help, check out Lester Sanders. He's the man who can help you. Christina Sanders, welcome to the show. Christina Sanders, Lester Sanders, no relation. Christina Sanders is my cousin. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. The big cuz, Mr. Damon Thomas. Welcome to the show. Let's do it again. Let's make it happen. Glad to have you here. Uh, my man, Jamar Quincy. What's up, my man? Welcome to the show. Jamar Quincy, man. This is a dude. He's a hustling dude, man. This is my guy. He He's just a salesman. He is truly a salesman. He knows how to create products and services and sell stuff. And I love that about him. He he creates things in new ways. I've seen him he, he, in the t-shirt business. I When I went into the t-shirt business a little bit, he was heavy in the game. He had all the connects on where to get t-shirts from and uh, sunglasses. He's doing, I've seen you do dressers and make stuff with a wrap. I mean, people wrap cars, right? And they wrap the car with something they like or their logo and designs or something they like. My man is wrapping dressers and get your kids' rooms hooked up and stuff. I don't know if he's still doing it, but I've seen my man do it. I love this man. So glad to have you here. Uh, Cassandra Elise Brooks, welcome to the show. Now, if you want to hear me rap and you want to hear me flow, you're going to have to wait for a whole other show. That's all I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? You just got to wait. I'm just not going to break it down tonight. All right. I'm just not going to go all the way in because, you know, I don't want to, you know, I'm not trying to get a record deal because I'm trying to do this show. So let me stay in my lane. OK, let me stay in my lane. JJ Lilly, welcome to the show. So glad to have you. Once again, loyal fans, we appreciate you. Some of you, you guys are just a part of the inner circle. We really appreciate it for anyone who's not. If you're not yet part of the inner circle, you want to be because I promise being a part of the inner circle is going to pay off. One day you're going to look up and we're going to be doing giveaways for the inner circle. One day you're going to look up and there's going to be special discounts for the inner circle. You want to be a part of the inner circle. So how do you join the inner circle? You join the inner circle by texting Lucas live, all one word, Lucas live to three one nine. Nine six three one nine nine six. Check that out at the bottom of the screen. 
Make sure you check Lucas Live to 31996. Join our text messaging group so you can get the discounts and the fun and the great stuff we're going to give away. So please do that. All right, let's see who else we got in the house. Yeah, see, Shamika, you see how I dropped him a few bars? You see what I did? I dropped a few bars on him real quick. I don't want to do too much. I didn't want to do too much. Uh, Ebony Akron, my friend, welcome to the show. So glad to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, really appreciate it. See what I'm saying, Cassandra? I got bars, right? You know what? You know what helped me? When I got this mic. If you get a mic and some headphones, you get real, real fast. All of a sudden, you can rap. So all you got to do is get your headphones and some and a mic, and all of a sudden, you'll be thinking you're doing your thing. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all you I'm just saying. Steve Beatty, welcome to the show. Glad to have you here, my friend. So glad to have you, Ebony Akron. Inner circle is the winner circle. Ain't that right? Inner circle is the winner circle. If you're not a part of that inner circle, I told you how to join that inner circle. Make sure you're joining that inner circle, ladies and gentlemen. We want to make sure you're part of that. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a live cooking demonstration. It's going to be fun. Just pay attention. Take some notes. Learn a little bit about how to make this delicious, healthy dessert with Miss Danica Stevenson. Now, I have to tell you guys what happened earlier today. I was talking to Miss Danica and uh, I, I've been calling her Danica, like Danica Patrick or something. I don't know. Danica, I didn't know. You know, sometimes you don't know. And so I've been calling her Danica all this time. And I was like, hey, Danica, da 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 da. I just want to get ready for the show tonight. And she was like, it's Danica. No, she was really nice about it. She was like, well, actually, even though we've talked like five to 10 times before, and you've been calling me Danica. She said, my mama's watching tonight. And if I don't get you to say my name right, my mama is going to jump in the comments. And she's going to be like, listen here, I named her Danica. Her name is Danica. So her name is Danica. I'm excited to welcome her to the show in just a second. In just a second, I want to welcome her to the show. Again, I want to thank everybody who's here. Hey, Joaquina, did I say what's up? I want to make sure I said what's up. I always, I, I be telling you like, hey, when you going to join us live? When you going to be here? And here you are watching live on YouTube. I'm so glad to have you. Thank you for being here again, Sharice Grantham. So glad you're here today. Ladies and gentlemen, we love it when you make comments. We love it when you type your comments in any platform you're on, even on LinkedIn, I can see them on my phone. But if you're here live on Periscope, Periscope is Twitter's live feed. If you guys are like, what the heck is Periscope? Why does he keep saying Periscope? Is he, does he mean to say telescope? What is he talking about, right? Periscope is Twitter's live feed. It's Twitter's live stream. So check it out. It's a great community of people on there going live. They've been, we've been going live when Periscope was around before Facebook Live, YouTube Live. It's live over there. So check out Periscope. We got YouTube Live. We love YouTube Live. We love the YouTube fam. Dr. Shamika Dean broke down why YouTube is such an important platform for entrepreneurs. She talked to, a, she talked to us about it last night. If you didn't see last night's episode, I don't know what you was doing. I don't know. What were you watching? The Wheel of Fortune? The Jeopardy or something? Like, what was you doing? Like, it's 7 o'clock. Like, what else is on? Come on, what's up? Where was you at? Like, you missed it. All right? Shamika Dean was dropping gems. Like, huge gems. Like, diamond necklace gems. Like, crazy gems. For anybody who's ever thought about starting an online business, even if you want to keep your day job, keep your day job. But she was breaking it down. You got to check out the episode if you haven't seen it. If you already saw it, I've had people telling me that they've already watched it again. And others said they can't wait to watch it again, and they're going to be taking notes. So make sure you check that out. Monique Lane, welcome to the show. Glad to have you. She's popping on while she's at work. Listen, don't lose your job over Lucas Live. I mean, I, I appreciate that it's that important, but I don't want you being like, hey, y'all doing any giveaways? Because remember how I was on your show, and then my boss had walked in, and now I'm, now I'm gonna not going to be going to work no more. I don't want that to happen to you, so please don't get in trouble, but thank you for being here. Glad to have you here on the show. Hey, Tasha, another one of my sisters here in the house. Welcome to the show. So glad to have you. Thank you guys for being here. Please share this broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. Share it live. If you do a watch party, let me tell you, don't do a watch party. If you do a watch party, what happens is those people get into this little room on your page and then they make me commenting, but I can't see it. And then I can't respond. Then they're like, this dude is a jerk. He doesn't like us. Why doesn't he respond to me? I don't know. He don't respond to me either. He must not like us over here. This dude is rude and I'm not, I just can't see. So you just want to push share and let it play on your page. It'll play through your page and then their comments will come through because they'll end up clicking into us. And we'll be able to participate in this thing together. So let's make it happen like that, okay? That's what we want to do. So should please share it to your page, whatever platform you're on, share it to your page so that other people can see it. Throw some hearts up, throw some love up. Every time you comment, 
every time you like or love this, every time you share this, you are telling the platform you're on that this is important content and the platform is going to take your content and show it to other people. So please, please, please take some time to do that. Watch the replays, share the links, let people know uh, about that. And I have some special announcements coming up too. Um, some really cool things are going on for Lucas Live. I'm really excited to share. I may share a little bit on the show today, um, but please also make sure you guys check us out. We won't have a show tomorrow. We're off on Fridays. You know, I got to spend time with the family and whatnot, but Saturday we're going to be back on YouTube only at Lucas Tyndale for virtual game night. You don't want to miss virtual game night. It is so much fun. Virtual game night. All you got to do is answer in the comments. I'm not going to pull you up on the screen and all that and embarrass you and have you, you know, on the video. You don't have to do all that. All you got to do is answer in the comments. Now, if you answer wrong, will I pull your comment up and maybe laugh? Maybe. But isn't that a part of the fun? Isn't that how your family gets down? Because that's how my family gets down. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, also, I want to make sure real quick before we bring in our special guest, I want to shout out our sponsor today, HMA. As always, as I've been sharing day after day, I'm not playing. HMA is special. Please go to HMA and roll to save. If you've been thinking that you want more coverage. If you're thinking either A, my job, the coverage I have, I'm not sure that it's enough, or I have a very high deductible, or whatever the case may be, or you're thinking, my child needs braces, I need braces, I wanna get rid of my son, my, my sunglasses, I wanna get rid of my glasses, and I wanna get LASIK eye surgery, but I can't afford it. I've been trying to save for these things, but things keep coming up. This is the perfect way to save, because your savings is gonna be doubled over time. Me and my family are going to have that. So over time, if if there's an emergency or an elective surgery or procedure or whatever that I want to get done or prescriptions or whatever, for me, my wife, my children will have extra coverage on a Visa debit card that we can just go swipe and say, there's your money. Don't touch my bank account. It's on the card. OK, so check out HMA at HMA. Enroll to save dot Com. That's a two for enroll to save.com. All right. Very good. Very good. We got some more comments coming in. Excited. Everybody's still having fun here. Thank you guys for hanging out with us here. And now I want to bring in our very special guest tonight. She is going to do a live cooking demonstration for us. First, we're going to start with a little interview. I want to ask her some questions. She's been featured on Fox 8 News and in other various publications. Um, she's really making a name for herself. She's met some amazing chefs. She's done some amazing work with kids, with families, with individuals, with so many different people. Her company is on the move, and I'm so excited to welcome uh, the very own, uh, not Danica, but Danica Stevenson. Welcome to the show, my friend. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, you got it, Danica. Hey, <laughs> hey your mom ain't gonna be mad hey. you, right? your mom No, gonna she's not gonna be mad. I'm sure she's gonna comment saying, thank you, Jesus. You oh, said it correctly. Yeah, I don't, don't want to mess up nobody's name. I don't want nobody mama coming oh, after me. It's just right. I'm you know, uh, real quick, I was gonna say real quick. So you was dropping some bars, and I was kind of going through a beat. I was like, okay, my name is D A Double N I K A. I'm hip and cool. Don't let the hair fool you. Okay. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> oh, you want to have a? That's, it, I'm, that's what I'm gonna give you. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna hook you up. Get ready. It's about to go down. I'm gonna let it go. Right, like right. Okay, see, you, Hef, know, you like healthier or not? It's gonna be hot, hot, hot. Okay, so no. you over there practicing? She got. I'm practicing. Too. Yeah, I was practicing. Yeah, I, was <laughs> see, I, I was freestyling. I was. You over there writing your rhymes? I know, right, right, I right. You're natural. I'm a ghost writer because I was dropping bars. I know. Right. I need one. I need one. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. Turn my sound up. They said my sound is a little bit low. Let us get us a little bit louder. You guys, let us know. Hey, I appreciate you guys with the quality control. Y'all know on Lucas Live, we we are learning every day. We're growing every day. We're making changes every day. So I appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys can hear me a little bit better. You guys let me know, and I can always speak up. Y'all know I'm a little bit loud anyway, so y'all let me know how it's going. Let me know if you guys can hear me. We want the sound to be balanced. We don't want you to have to turn it all the way up so you can hear me, and then you got to turn it down so you can hear her. We don't want it like that. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. You guys let me know. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much, Sharice, for saying that in the comments. So, Danica, let's get started tonight. Um, as I put on the flyer and as other people have seen, 
you uh, tell a story of the fact that you are focused on healthy meals for individuals, but you weren't, you didn't always have access to healthy foods uh, in order to eat that way yourself. Tell us a little bit about your journey, your story, and, and, and a little bit about that as well. Yeah, well, thank you, Lucas, again, for this opportunity to share my story and talk about Sip Saver Soul. But um, I grew up in a low income neighborhood, low income neighborhood. And in that neighborhood, we did not have access to um, fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, in my neighborhood, um, our food source was basically the corner store or the convenience store, mm. um, the gas station. So I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with that. And so I would go there to get a bunch of snacks and stuff like that. Like you can't go to a corner store or a gas station and find strawberries and apples and mm -mm. bananas, but you can find some hot chips and hot some Cheetos? pickles and some so the hot Cheetos, the hot, Cheetos. <laughs> hot Cheetos, right? The, the hot Cheetos, drink, the strawberry pop, the, the strawberry, the, they got yeah, in the grape drink. They have oh, all okay. all that stuff. That's not healthy. So you're not you supposed know, to be drinking grape drink. Well, it's not about, we can go over this a little bit more, but it's really not what you eat per se. It's about the, it's the quantity. Okay. It's all about how much you eat. So I, we always talk about eating in moderation and that's one okay. thing that I've learned. So that's part of eating healthy and we'll, we can definitely talk about that a little bit further, but yeah. So, you know, growing up in, in that neighborhood, not having access, not having access to that. Um, so my food source was that, and also to my great grandmother, my great grandmother, her name was Pearl. Um, she actually showed me how to cook. Mm -hmm. So I would be in my grand, my, I would be in my grandmother's, my great grandmother's kitchen. She was a double amputee, amputee, but she was able to wheel around in the kitchen. She had one of those little handle things and she would like pick something out from her cabinet. Mm -hmm. And that food, that food back in the day, I don't know if you remember, like when we had government cheese, yeah. And that government thick peanut butter government. that you, government cheese, you know, they make, it makes the I, best macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I don't remember government, government cheese. Government like cheese. cheese. And then that right. thick peanut butter that tore up the bread. Yeah. You talk about the that tore up the bread. Okay. That's it. Yeah, I remember. With the thin jelly. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I came up yes. in the I'm just saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and I grew up. I grew up eating those foods, and then there was like butter and fat and lard and all those things. All those things that are yummy when we're making recipes. And so, with that, my I enjoy being in the kitchen. I mean, it was like a safe haven. I enjoy being with my my great grandmother sharing these recipes. However, by the time I was five years old, I was already eighty pounds. Wow, eighty at five. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's pause for the cause for a second, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, thank you for sharing so openly. I mean, this is important because mm -hmm. not only is, you know, uh, healthy eating so important, but a lot of times we're feeding our kids things as though, you know, they have this infinite metabolism, they'll be fine. But actually, we're teaching them long term <clears throat> habits that it's going to be a lot harder for them to break. And maybe right now, some of our kids are eating this stuff and they're not gaining as much weight. But one day it'll catch up with them. And you're saying at a very young age, tell us again, how much was it and what age were you that you were at that weight? Five, five. 80 pounds 80 at pounds. five years old. Mm -hmm. 80 pounds at five years old. Right. So, I mean, we didn't, like I said, we didn't really have access to fresh fruits and vegetables or anything like that. So pretty much, you know, you just, you just made what you had in your cabinet. You just made what you had in your fridge. Yeah. You work with what you got. So right. if it's unhealthy, it's unhealthy. Like it's not, you know, we don't, we didn't care about that. As long as you ate, that's all that matters. Yeah. That's that, pretty much, that's how, that's how it was. So I just grew up in that culture. So that food culture there was just limited access to those fruits and vegetables. We really didn't garden either. So, you know, we had the land, but I didn't, I didn't know anything about gardening or anything like that. So it's convenient to go to a gas station, to go to a corner store, to, to get those things. It's just, it's just something to fill us up. That's, that's all it is. Food is to fill us up and give us mm. some nourishment and fuel and we're going about our day. So interesting. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so many people have been in that position and especially again, I, it's funny because especially with children, it's like, are you full? You give them something, you're not full, eat something, else. eat some cereal, eat your stuff, go sit down, grab a pop tart. Right. And, and you're mm -hmm. saying that this just, satiating the desire to eat is not where it's at. Is that right? Right. 
And that's how it was then. And unfortunately, that's how it is now. I've right. learned that through my cooking classes right now. Um, so I'll jump into that real quick. So I, when I was doing some cooking classes, especially for the young kids, we had a lot of school age kids. And so I had kids that didn't know what a kiwi was, a blueberry, mm. a raspberry. You know, they didn't, they didn't know anything like that. Now they knew a raspberry pop tart, right? You right. know, they know no, cherry wait, that's not, soda. That's not real raspberry. <laughs> That's not a raspberry. Oh, yeah. What? That's not a raspberry. No. <laughs> blueberries no, are so, not real blueberries. All of a sudden, you just gonna burst our bubble no, like that. No, huh? sorry. I'm okay, so that's sorry. Okay. No, that's okay. Tell They're us good. the truth. That's cool. They're good. Yeah, I gotta keep it real. <laughs> right. So you know these kids, um, and these classes were in low income neighborhoods as well. So you know, I'm talking to these kids. We're learning about different fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. I give them a little history lesson, and so. Some of the kids, they're unfamiliar with it because it's just part of the food culture. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what it is because I've never been exposed to it. Mm -hmm. So I would introduce them to those fruits and vegetables and we would make a dish. And if they didn't understand it, you know, I had them look at it and smell it and taste it and feel it. And then we would make a really cool dish, something that kids, kids would like. And right. then, you know, I had them eat it and then they loved it. They loved it. And yep. so I noticed once we done once we completed the classes, I've had kids come up to me and say, "Hey, can we make some more? Can I have an extra sweet potato?" <laughs> you know that uh -huh. kiwi was really good. Right. It, I loved it. You know, oh, I like blueberries. So we're just getting these kids exposed exposed to these uh, different fruits and vegetables. So mm -hmm. that's awesome. That's awesome. Danica, I don't know. Yeah, I think you're frozen here on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. You guys got to tell me. Looks like she's frozen. I'm going to take her down and see if we can bring her back up. Looks like she got Oh, there you are. You're back. Look at that. You're moving and grooving again. I don't know. It was like you froze on us for us for a second. Um, so that's excellent stuff that you're starting to show children the importance of that. Now, we have a chef in the house who's watching the show, and he uh -huh. just said he bought some hot Cheetos today. Steve Beatty, you're supposed to know better than this, my man. I mean, I don't know why you're <laughs> having hot Cheetos. Other than they're delicious to some people, <laughs> for myself, but a lot of people. No, do I'm a big hot Cheeto fan. Hot Cheeto no. fan, right? Yeah. So, 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 I'll, so I'll, I'll, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. sorry. I was going to say, when it comes to like healthy eating, I know that word "healthy" is an uncomfortable word. Um, I know a lot of people talk about health when they have to go on a diet or something's wrong with their body or something mm -hmm. like that. I'm like, man, I got to eat healthy. I don't, I don't like eating healthy. It doesn't taste good. It's nasty. Right. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't look good. But when it comes to healthy eating, it's really, it's not about the food itself. It's actually about the mindset. So mm -hmm. it's about the way we think about food. So it's, a, it's about what we eat, how we eat it, when we eat it, okay. how much, and why? Why mm. is, a, is a big thing here. So when it comes to like unhealthy eating, I mean, when it comes to healthy eating, I think healthy eating means eating to live. Okay. Unhealthy eating means living to eat. Mm. Two different That's, things. I love that. Two let's, different things. Let's, let's say that again. So healthy eating is healthy eating, eating to live, right? Mm -hmm. Unhealthy eating, eating to live. is living to eat i can't wait is it time for another meal yet because i'm about to have some more of that or the <laughs> going to the grocery store getting everything you can dream of and you can't even wait like man i can't wait to have the oreos but wait i can't wait to have the pancakes but wait i can't wait to have the other stuff that i bought that's living to eat and that is causing a big problem in our society right a lot of people mm -hmm. are living to eat and it's adding to the obesity epidemic and adding to a bunch of other problems so I want us to continue this conversation, but what I'd like to do, and, and we'll, we'll pick it up right there. I want us to get ready for the demo. Can we get ready for the demo? Can you, can you do that? All right, and, let's do it. All right, very good. So what we're going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you guys a little clip of our friend, Miss Danica, when she was on the local <laughs> news and she did a demonstration. So we're going to check that out while she prepares. I'm going to take you off the screen right now. So you go ahead and get ready. I'm going to mute it and everything. So you go ahead and get ready. And we'll bring okay. you back up right after this. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, we thank you guys for being here. I want to thank everybody again. Jazz, welcome to the show. Thank you. So glad to have you. 
a great friend of ours, somebody who has recently gone vegan, I believe. And people say gone vegan like gone crazy. She done gone vegan. She done messed around and gone vegan. What in the world is she going to eat? She done gone vegan. No, she's she's chosen to eat vegan. She wants to live a healthy lifestyle. It's good for her health and her and her husband and her and her family. And, and kudos to her for doing that. Shout out to Jez. And shout out to Jez. Jez, we got game night this Saturday. She, she ain't no joke when it comes to trivia. One of the smartest people I ever met. I, she, it's just it's just not right. It's just ridiculous. So shout out to everybody who's continuing to join the broadcast. I want to go ahead and share now. We're going to look at uh, Danica's uh, when she was on the local news here again. A great time. And, and uh, we're going to see a little demonstration that she did when she was on Fox 8 News. Let me pull that up, make that a little bit bigger for you, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to go ahead and get that started so you guys can see what was going on. When she was on the show here, let's make that Stevenson happen. Stevenson from Sip Saver Soul, the triple pea salad. The triple pea salad. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? This sounds really good because I know there's peas. I love peas. Good. There's pasta, pizza. you said, right? There's pasta. And what's the third pea again? Pesto. Pesto. You're all about healthy cooking. I am. And explain to me your business real quick. I want you to jump into this right away, but you sure. have a really interesting business too. Yes. Yeah, so Sip Saver Soul. Pretty much anything you drink, anything you eat, I put my soul into it. That's why we call it Sip Saver Soul. And you do a lot of health, healthy cooking. You, you teach kids. I mean, I you do. teach kids, you teach adults, but it really starting them at a young age, the best ways to make sure that they're eating. Yeah, you know, I believe cooking is actually a life skill. You'll be surprised of how many people do not know how to cook. Mm -hmm. I mean, simple things like boiling water or sure. scrambled egg. So I bring like simple, easy techniques you don't have to be a gourmet chef. So that we can't complain about cooking. Like She makes it easy for us. So, you know? I make it easy. So I'll let you get started making this wonderful sure. dish. Sure. Okay. So, yes, our triple pea salad is for pasta, peas, and pesto. So the first thing is first, I'm going to go ahead and make the pesto because that's pretty much the start. That's the hard part, right, too? That's, that's the, the hard that's part. The, that's the one that takes the most time. <laughs> right, the right. The peas are simple. The peas are simple. <laughs> so it's so making the pasta. Right. And the cool thing about pesto is actually just five simple ingredients, okay? So we're actually going to start with our leafy green. Now, um, technically, the basic pesto is basil, but you can use spinach, you can use arugula. So I like to use spinach. Okay. okay. So I've already cut the stem part off of it. You know, you could just cut a little bit off. Mm hmm you actually really just need about two cups, but you know, you could just eye it. And so I'm just gotcha. gonna put two bunches in here. So that's one. She's got the Vitamix handy. Got the Vitamix handy. I recommend getting a Vitamix. Do you have one or a Ninja Boy? I don't, but now that I'm making a lot of smoothies, mm -hmm. I feel like I should be investing right. in one. Yes, I, I encourage everyone to get, to get one. Okay, the next thing is basil. Now this has a nice floral smell if you want. I, I love the basil smell. Okay, so this it's is actually so just a half a cup. We're gonna go ahead and stick that in. I'm gonna add that too. Okay, our next thing is going to be our cheese. Cheese, please. Cheese is very important. Oh, and actually, I have cheese. Parmesan cheese in here. I'm just going to dump. And this is actually just one cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the next thing to make a basic pesto soft is going to be your nuts. Now, I have a, a cup of pine nuts here. However, you can use any type of nut. Just um, what you like. Almonds, walnuts, cashews, whatever your preference. So today is pine nuts. Just showing us how to make this. Mm -hmm. All right. Next, everybody needs seasoning in their life. A little so salt we got some salt, salt, a little salt and pepper. And it's actually one teaspoon of each. Okay, simple so far. All right, and next we have to make it rain. So we're gonna make it rain with the oil. <gasps> Let's make it rain, make good. It rain with the oil. So I'm gonna actually put one cup in here. Is that all, just olive oil? Actually, actually this is a half a cup right now, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it. Okay. I just wanna see how it looks like for a minute. We're just gonna go ahead and blend with the Vitamix. <sighs> Simple things, simple. And, and I mean, you get all those fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. Very easy. You know that saying, "Fresh is best." Absolutely, I, I agree with that. Okay, so I'm gonna add the extra half a cup. Okay, all the way over here. All right. Let that blend up. I'm gonna let that blend. So once you get the sauce done, mm -hmm. then you start boiling the boiling the noodles. Yes. So Think about the taste. All right. So that's done. So that's done. And it smells amazing. I'm just gonna show you real quick. Look at that. Look how good that looks. That's that's some fresh pesto right there, fresh folks. Fresh pesto. You can't beat that. All right. All right. So the sauce is done. You you 
boil the noodles. For the sake of TV, the noodles are already done, correct? Noodles are already done. And you can cook these ahead of time. I actually just made these this morning. And I actually like small pasta. I think small pasta works best. This is actually a bow tie pasta. I love bow tie pasta. Um, you can use the spirulini, like the spiral pasta. I mean, some people use spaghetti. It's whatever your preference is. I always care about preference. As long as, it, as, long as you make it, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. um, the preference doesn't matter. Okay. All right, so next, we're gonna actually, I'm just gonna put a little bit of sauce in here because I'm, it smells so good. I'm just ready to go ahead and put I some bet in here. you are. Here's the thing. Now, we, we're running out of time here. So mm -hmm. I want to make sure people know that you teach classes then. You go all over. I do. Correct? So the best way for people to get in touch with you is going to your website? Yeah, I, I recommend going on Facebook right now. I have okay. a Sip, Saver, Soul website. Okay. So go to her Facebook, Sip, Saver, Soul, Saver on, Soul on Facebook. On Facebook. And you can check her out, find out where she's going to be teaching classes. You can request her to teach a class at your location. Unfortunately, we have to go. So I'm going to oh, let you finish this. Maybe we'll okay. show it at the end of the show really fast. Yes, let's I know. Do that. Time flies when you're having fun, it does, doesn't it? It does. We're going to go to David and we'll try to have this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to bring our good friend Danica back on the show. She's getting ready to do a live demonstration for us. Now, you got to see her do it on the news, which was cool. You know, we got to see her do it for somebody else. But now she's going to do a live cooking demo live from home for us. So let's bring Danica back up on the show. Welcome back, Danica. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Can you can you hear us? Let me make sure we're Let me good. Make sure we're good. Can you hear us? Hey, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yeah, you, I really yeah, can't you, hear you. <laughs> are you plugged in there? Are you plugged in there? We want to make sure we can hear you. I think I hear a little bit of an echo. All right, she just jumped out of the broadcast. She's going to jump back in here in just a second and get us back on so we can see her do a live cooking demonstration. Thank you guys again who are here in the room. Uh, Gloria Sanders, my aunt said, I make pesto when basil is abundant. I don't even know. See, that's awesome that people know things like that, like when basil is abundant. I don't even know when basil is abundant, but that is really, really awesome. But while we're waiting on Danica to come back on the show, I want to make a couple announcements uh, that, are, that are going on for Lucas Live. One, I want to thank you guys for your support as I have continued to thank you. I can't thank you enough. But I also want to let you guys know some cool things that are coming up. One, um, I, I'm going to actually have an article in the local newspaper. So people who live around here who are familiar with the Canton Repository, this Sunday, Lucas Live is going to be a feature in the around town section of the Canton Repository. So I'm really excited about that. Really excited to be working with the Canton Repository and having an opportunity to talk to them and work with them and having an article featured in the local newspaper. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw us start right here. Like the started from the bottom story, you guys are seeing it happen live. I'm just going live, being brave, pushing live, bringing it out here to all these platforms. You guys are joining, showing love, showing support, throwing stuff into the comments, joining the text group. You guys are making it happen. And because of that, I'm so blessed and I'm so fortunate that I'm going to be featured in the local paper. I can't wait to share the article with you guys here live. We'll make sure we share it on Sunday's broadcast. Go out and buy a paper if you're around town, if you're close to us. Make sure you do that so that we can uh, celebrate that and really enjoy that. That is really, really something that I'm excited about. We're like three weeks in. We're like three weeks in and we're already in the paper. All right. And we're just getting started. Who knows where it's going to go from there. So we're going to go ahead and I have another special announcement, ladies and gentlemen. So you guys stay tuned. I have a very special guest that's going to be joining us on the show in May. And I want to tell you about this special guest. So make sure you guys stay here on the show. Yeah. Ebony Akron. That's right. Featured. Mm -hmm. Yep. And be featured in the paper. That's right. She said featured. What? Yep. Featured. Yep, yep, yep. It's going to be featured in the around town section. But hey, whatever. It's all good. I'm ready to be in there wherever we at. They're going to represent. They're going to share some of the names of some of our previous guests and some other things. So we're really excited about that. So just getting started. So we want to bring Danica back. We're hoping that we got the technical difficulties worked out so that we can see a live demonstration from Miss Danica. How are you? I'm fine. You see how the enemy tries to always tries to attack something good, but he's a liar. Isn't that <laughs> That's what be happening. Yes. It always happens, oh, but it's all good. It all, it's all good. It's all so good. So you can hear me. I can hear you. And are we ready to roll? Yeah, we're ready to roll here. So thank you so much again. And so um, as we mentioned, we are making a healthy dessert. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do not be afraid. Mm. Healthy can taste good. All right. So 
we are actually, I have a special dessert that I'm making tonight. And we have an ingredient that a lot of people know. A lot of people have eaten, especially during Thanksgiving. Can you mm. take a guess what it is? Anybody want to guess what? what you guys think this is? Some people throw in the comments, what do you think this dessert is? She said a lot of people eat it. This is like a trivia question. This is how game night goes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we ask trivia questions and you answer in the comments. So, guess it's something that you might have as a dessert at Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. what is your guess? Go ahead and put some guesses in the comments. Who's going to type in those guesses fast? Who's going to guess the right thing? Let's see who's going to say the right thing. All right. Uh, Sharice Grantham, her, the first guess. Now, let's not tell him, Den Denica. Let's not tell him just yet. The first guess, Sharice Grantham said, sweet potato pie. That's my favorite when it comes to good Thanksgiving. Guess. So that's good a good guess. guess. It's a good guess. Sweet potato guess. pie. Ebony Acker mm -hmm. said cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce is in a can, oh. Ebony. Don't nobody make no cranberry sauce. That's Maybe on another thing. show for the holiday, I can show you how to make it, make oh, you can it make fresh. It? What? Mm -hmm. I thought it only came in the can. All right, cool. No. All mm -hmm. right. See, I was see, I I I don't was I don't know. I don't know. All right, banana pudding, another classic, Ooh. another favorite. That's a Tyler good Thatcher guess. said you're making the banana pudding. Is that you know people are getting excited? Mm. I mean, banana pudding or not? What's happening? What's going on? Let's see. All right. Well, let's let's go. We got a couple more. All right, let's do it. Yeah, in. let's do it. Okay. So here's the thing: what we're making today. So we are making, as someone guessed it, sweet potato pie. But we're not actually making pie. Mm -mm, we're not doing mm. pie today. We're actually doing a sweet potato ice cream. Mm. Ice cream. How many? How many of you guys love ice cream? I love ice cream. Everybody loves. Ice Everybody cream. loves ice cream. Love ice cream. Everybody's yes. cheering. Everybody's Everybody loves, loves ice cream. Ice cream. Yes. So we're gonna be using ice cream using this sweet potato. Wow. Anybody see the sweet potato here? Okay, so I have one other question if you guys want to comment. Does anyone know the difference or is there a difference between a sweet potato and a yam? Is, is there, a, there difference? a difference between a sweet potato and a yam? Cassandra Book said, I love ice cream. She said, let's go. She loves <laughs> ice cream. Now you guys tell us, is there a difference between a sweet potato and a yam? This is a great question because... Nobody ever said, nobody ever came over on Thanksgiving and said, I made some yam pie. Mm -hmm. I made your favorite yam. They always say sweet potato pie. But then sometimes I see the canned goods and it says yams and it looked like a sweet potato. And I've been confused my entire life. So let's find out. I mean, some, uh, Cherie said there's a difference because I had this debate at work. So <laughs> she was she was arguing this out at work. Right. Uh, Janelle said, this is an interesting conversation. <laughs> She's not so sure. Right. Uh, Ebony said, uh huh. She don't know. She said, but uh, she said, I don't know what it is. She thinks there's a difference. Tyler said, the shape of it, he thinks is the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Janelle said, yes, there's a difference. Monique said, I always wondered the difference. I have no idea. Shout out to Monique. Bethany Cook, thank you for being here. She said, I think so, but I don't remember what. She's like, I don't know what grade that was mm -hmm. if we was in school and if they taught us what it was. She right. doesn't know. Uh, so people are, uh, okay, Gloria said the color and the textures are different. Okay. Colors and textures are different. And Sharice came back and said one is white and the other is golden brown, she thinks. I, right. And you know what? All those answers are pretty much correct. So with the sweet potato here, that's what I call a sweet potato. It's very moist and it, and it has a natural sweetness to it. So when people bake yams or they do a smash yam or just uh, like a sweet potato pie, you really don't need to add a, a lot of sugar in it because it's already naturally sweet. Also to the yam, I mean, the sweet potato here is orange. So I cut a little bit of, I don't know if you see it here, but it is orange in the flesh. Also the out part of it is very thin. It's very thin, it's very smooth. It has a tapered end to it, so it's like it has a little pointy end versus the yam. Now, the yam is golden color. It's white. It looks more like a potato, so it's part of the starch family, and it has more starch to it. It's not sweet at all. It's not naturally sweet like the yam, but you can mix them both in there, and you can still have a wonderful sweet potato pie. Well, today is going to be sweet potato ice cream, so it all tastes good. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. Interesting. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here because I know a lot of people are like, hey, it's seven o'clock at seven thirty. I just had dinner and I, I do like some ice cream. So if you can show me how to make a healthy ice cream, I'm gonna go for it. So we're all in. All right. So what I'm gonna need to do, I'm gonna turn the camera so you're not gonna see me, but you're gonna see my hands, you're gonna see me prepare it. So you guys 
get ready. So here we go. Sounds good. Let's make it happen. Okay. I hope you guys can see this a little bit. Can you see my? Yep. Yep. If you can't say I can't see it. Can you guys see it here? My hands a little bit. I think they can. Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So again, we're going to start with the sweet potato. Now, here's the thing. This is called a uh, a peeler, like a veggie peeler or a fruit peeler too, because I've peeled apples. Does everyone have a have a peeler? This is a must have in your home. So text if you comment below if you have one of these, but it's called a veggie pillar. It's important to have one. So I'm and, just going to show you real and quick. Veggie pillars is, are pretty cheap, right? I, I think I just got one recently. We haven't used yeah. it yet because we don't know how to use it, but it was like right. a dollar or two or something. Yeah, I mean, you can get a really cheap one. I know they had ones that's just that was completely metal. My my grandmother had one. It was all metal. The handle was metal as well. But when you wash it, you have to be careful because they can rust. So, you know, for the purposes when I do these kids classes, I want to make sure that I have a plastic one with a plastic handle because it's safer for the kids. Okay. So make sure you guys have one. So I'm just going to peel it a little bit here, just real quick. Just a simple peel here. That's a lot faster than that knife we be using. It. <laughs> That's a lot faster. Yeah, just real quick. Man. All right, all right just... Yeah, just real quick here. All right, I like a quick pill. Like and I want to just show people, not just really tell people, because some people, you might have a person like, I don't know how to use a veggie pillar. Can you show me? Right. And I'm, I'm showing you today. So we get a little education. Okay, boom. There we go. So I'm going to put that over here to the side. Now, we're just going to do a quick cut. Now, this is small. Now, I put something out there on Facebook about investing in some good knives. I do recommend having a, you don't really have to have a, a, a good knife set, but you need, you need two good knives, like a paring knife um, and um, maybe just a, a, like a, a larger knife, like a, a knife to like chop vegetables or cut meat or something like that. So you want a, a few good knives here. So it's just a quick cut. I'm making this real quick. I'm just going to cut a few no, here. Cut yourself. We like that. I'm not going to cut myself. I'm not. I know. I'm not Michael Simon. And ch -ch -ch -ch. no. Right. <laughs> okay. So you want to make these small. Okay. Only because when you boil them in water, it's a, it's easier. Uh, it'll, it's a quicker uh, boiling time versus if you just put the whole thing in the water. So I like to just cut them in small pieces. Just just small. Okay. So I have a few small pieces here. So I went on ahead and boiled them in water. Um, you put a little salt in your water, um, just, just, a little, just a little bit. You're gonna boil it for about 40, 35, 40 minutes. They're gonna be nice and tender. And I'm gonna show you um, the completion because I have one already done. Does everybody see this here? Y'all see that right Mashed there? Mashed potato, everybody see it? Looking good. This is once it's boiled. And hopefully everybody in your kid, everybody in your everybody out listening has a masher. This is another thing you should have in your home: a masher to mash your mash your sweet potatoes. You got to mash your sweet potatoes. Now this is you this is good. Them. See, this is important. I remember learning when I was younger: you need the right tool for the job, and it makes the job right. easier. Right. Right. So it makes a lot. Like yeah. To cook because they think it's too complicated. It's too hard. It's too time consuming. <sighs> It is too time consuming if you're shaving all your potatoes with a with a butter knife. That is hard. Oh, I've done that. <laughs> Don't do that. I've done okay. that. <laughs> that's all I had. I mean, that's all I had. Sorry, hold on. Technical difficulty. Okay, there we okay. go. Everybody see? Like you just dumped over all the food. Okay. She's I know, good. right? Oh people my are, goodness. Everybody good? There, everybody's good. There, people are throwing up love. They're out here saying this looks good. People are excited <laughs> to see this. All right. Okay, she just jumped off. I see. I don't know. See, she just decided that you know what? She's just gonna eat her sweet potato ice cream by herself. I don't know what happened, but meanwhile, until we get her back on because she just popped off. I don't know why, but it's all good. Okay, I see her back. She's back here, but real quick, just because I want to go ahead and show you guys something about a special guest that's going to be coming on the show here soon, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know this person, see, I want to tell you now, she's going to be coming on in May, and I want you to start, if you don't know her, I want you to look her up, I want you to research her, I want you to follow her, I want you to inbox her and tell her I found out about you on Lucas Live, I hear you're going to be on the show. This is somebody who is just a phenomenal entrepreneur who is going to be on the show really soon. I'm just going to show you guys a little clip of her website so you guys can kind of see what's going on here on the website. And you guys tell me in the comments if you know who this person is. Check this person out. Anybody know who this is? This is somebody who's just exciting and an amazing entrepreneur, and she's doing big things. If you guys know Nicole Walters, tell me in the comments, Nicole Walters 
is going to be on Lucas Live coming in May. So excited. Just heard back from her and her people. I had her people call my people and my people is me because I don't have no people yet because we still getting started. But Nicole Walters is going to be on the show in May. If you don't know about Nicole Walters, look her up. Check her out on social media. Make sure you're following her. Check out her website. She is dynamic. She's all over the world touring and speaking when you know when things were safe she was doing all that and she is just an, a phenomenal entrepreneur she actually quit her corporate job live on periscope years ago and has built a multi-million dollar business and teaches others how to do it she has a 1k one day program where she teaches entrepreneurs how to make a thousand dollars a day 1k one day program is one of her mini programs so you guys make sure you check her out that's going to be a great great episode so just shout out to nicole walters I want to share that with you. And we're going to bring Danica back on the scene. I think Danica's ready for us. So let's get Danica back. All right. All right. We ready to roll here, Danica. Are we ready for our, we see the ring light. We don't see you. So spin that around and we'll get started and see the rest of that. Uh, Monique said, you love Nicole Walters. We're excited about that. Ebony, you're going to check her out. Make sure you check her out for sure. Yes. Awesome. All right, Danica. Where? Okay, she's spinning her up. Oh, there we go. Can you hear me? She's spinning the camera around. All right. Let me see. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. All right. Very good. Here we are. We're back. Now, what do you have you for us? You whip that all up for us. Let us see. What do we got? Where are we at? We're okay, so I'm just going to, yeah, we're ready for some ice cream. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. So I already put in um, actually about four yams. To, it's equivalent to like three cups of mashed sweet potatoes. So I went on ahead and put this in my food processor. I hope everybody has a food processor out there. It's worth the investment if you do not have one. So we put in the sweet potatoes. It takes two ripe bananas. I'm just going to go ahead and put these two bananas in here. Okay, so the sweetness part, this is when it comes in. This is when the healthy part comes in because we're not putting granulated sugar in it. Uh, one of the natural sweeteners out there is called pure maple syrup. Okay, right? Can you show not us a little pink. Bit? Do, you, do you have that right there? It looks like you're doing it in secret and we can't see. Are you hiding you the see? secret recipe from us? Can you we, see? You can't see? Oh, we see your face. We just see you. We can't see the ingredients going in. Oh my goodness. You must have okay. it spun around different. Maybe you got the front facing okay. camera going, or maybe you all right. Let's try again. Around. Yeah, let us see it. We want to see. I thought you was just showing us. I thought you was trying to keep it secret or something. I wasn't gonna say nothing because we understood what you were saying, but we want to see what's going on as well. We want to make sure we can see what's happening here. So show us what you got. All right, I think we're upside down. Now we're spinning back around. All right, people are getting dizzy. Hold on to your seats, ladies and gentlemen. All right, boom. All right, your mic is muted. You want to unmute your mic so we can hear you and then we'll be ready to roll. All right, it's looking good. Y'all see that there? All right, she's going to unmute her mic so we can hear her. I think she's going to. We're going to hope she does. All right, we see you. Yep, yep, but it's there you go. Oh, wait, I think you went there. You go. Okay, we, we got unmuted. it. Muted. All right. Okay, sorry for the technical deal for the call tees. Apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, thank can you guys, you guys for see? hanging in there with us? We appreciate you. Can you see? A little lower. We can see the cabinet and we can see today something. All right, now we see the food processor. Yes, now we see it. Yes. All right, all right. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's the food processor. I went on ahead and put in three cups of yams. I put in two ripe bananas and I put in one third cup of maple syrup. Now, this is pure maple syrup. Okay, we're not talking about pancake syrup that has maple flavoring. We're mm. talking about pure, pure for sure. Fresh is best. Remember that, pure for sure. Fresh is best. No imitation here. Love it's that. worth the investment. It's worth the investment to get pure syrup, pure ma maple syrup. If you look in the back of the ingredients, there's only one ingredient. It's maple syrup, and that's oh. it. <laughs> so that makes it pure. <laughs> that's how we know we got the right thing. <laughs> that's how you know. That's how you know you got the right thing. So you said okay. Jemima. And Mrs. Butter's word don't actually make syrup. Is that what you're trying to tell us? That's what I'm life. saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> not, don't mess up it's Mrs. Not the same. Butter's worth. Man. It's not the same. Oh, I love Mrs. Butter's worth, man. All right. It's okay. It's All right. Okay. We're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. Here's the same thing. Pure vanilla. 
not imitation that comes in the big bottle. It's made of water, artificial flavoring, coloring, a hint of vanilla. It's not the real thing. Oh. Pure for sure. You want the pure. You want the real thing. You want the real deal. The real okay, so deal. The real deal. Okay, so I put in one, uh, one teaspoon of pure vanilla, and now I'm going to go with my seasoning. So we're going to do a half a teaspoon. I have some nutmeg here, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of ginger. Love the ginger. Mm -hmm. And one teaspoon of cinnamon. All right. All right. Now it's time for the blending. I'm going to blend right, this up right, right here. Right. Here we go. It only takes a few minutes. Now, we need a food processor, you said. Is that right? Yeah, if you have a food processor, yes, I recommend it. Or a blender, a ninja bullet. Does anybody have those out there? You can put you can put all the greens in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. But but don't try to get your old your grandmama's spoon that it's not gonna get it. Is that what you're saying? Not gonna get it. Uh, no. You want to you want to blend everything smoothly, pretty much here. So give me a second. So we're gonna have something like this. Can you see it? Yep. Looks okay. good. Yeah, it's okay. So once you do that, you're just gonna put it in a in a bowl, like a metal bowl or a, a freezeable bowl. It can be metal with a with a lid. It can be plastic with a lid. You're gonna freeze it for 24 hours. Okay. Okay. So once. Okay. See me. Yeah, all right. We see you. So once you freeze it, all right. Awesome. All right. So once you freeze it, it's gonna look a little like this. I'm gonna show it to you. So it's really good. You gotta hold that up. And I'm gonna put some in a bowl. Yeah, where's it at? Show it to us. You gonna show us? See it. All right. Gotta All get right. a little lower. I'm gonna put in a bowl real quick so you guys okay. can see it. Oh, All bowl. right, hold Carolyn on. Stevenson, welcome to the show. That's my mother. That's mom right there. <laughs> Danica's mom. Not Danica, but Danica. We got it. Welcome to the show, Miss Carolyn. We're glad to have you. Mm, wait, show us that again. All right, hold on. Sorry. We want to see that. Is that the, so is this the finished product? Yes. All right, you got to pull back a little bit more. I got to go widescreen. Maybe it's me. Okay, let's go a little closer. I got your name up there so we can't. Oh, there we go. All right. Yes. Looks good. So what else did you put in there? So was there, I don't remember ice. I don't remember milk. I mean, unless no. you said those things. Help us out with that. No, actually, the banana, the ripe banana, once you blend it with that sweet potato, it creates a creaminess, sort of like an ice cream texture. Okay. So you really don't need to use dairy. You don't need to use dairy at all. And once you freeze it and you scoop it out, it scoops like ice cream. It comes out like ice cream. Wow. And it tastes like sweet potato pie. That's amazing. I mean, the cool thing is when you said sweet potato ice cream, I thought... It's going to be pretty watered down, probably. It's not going to have as strong of a consistency or a taste as a sweet potato pie. But because of the way you blended those ingredients, you're saying basically you took what you had in that food processor, you froze mm. it. So that's a pretty pure mixture. Is that right? Yeah, it's a it's a pure mixture. And actually, that banana is the glue that hold that holds it together, that mm. forms that ice cream texture, I would say. It's very natural. Like I said, it's... Um, we're using, you know, we're using the uh, sweet potatoes, we're using bananas, and our natural sweetener, we're using pure maple syrup. Like I said, we're not using sugar or any, or any other like artificial sweeteners or anything like that. That's awesome. Amazing. So tell us a little bit more about healthy cooking. What are some of the things we can use? You just said pure maple syrup. syrup. Um, you, you ruined my life by telling me that <laughs> Aunt Jemima and Mrs. Buttersworth aren't all that I thought they were. That's okay, though. Uh, so tell us about some other things we can cook with that'll make our foods a little more natural, a little healthier. Sure. Okay, so one of the must-haves you should, you should have is olive oil. Does everybody have olive oil? That's a, that's a great thing to use. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just for your skin and for your hair. Those things are good, too. But um, olive oil is very good for you. Um, it has a lot of um, a lot of nutrients, a lot of minerals in it. Um, I use it for sauteing. 
I've used it for bacon a little bit. Um, bacon is a science, so you have to be careful of how to use olive oil when it comes mm -hmm. to like bacon, like cakes or cookies or anything like that. But um, it's better than using, let's say, canola oil or like lard or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's a it's a natural oil. So, so again, um, you know, just real quick, because I was raised. We cooked, I, I, didn't, I never heard of olive oil until I was older. And I like, I think people was using it at church, putting it on your forehead. I don't know. I think that was my first experience with oil mm -hmm. and olive oil. And then it was virgin and then it was extra virgin, which I don't even understand what that means. But anyway, but we would cook it with like Crisco and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Lard and Crisco. And that's mm -hmm. how we got down. I, you, so you're saying vet and even and then after that, we had what was called vegetable oil. Isn't that healthy? Oh, um, not Canola necessarily. Oil, I think. Oil? What is that? Well, here's the thing. Like, it's it's how it's processed that that determines whether it's healthy or not. So let's go back to the oil. So the olive oil or the extra virgin olive oil, mm -hmm. it's a way that it's processed. I mean, there are actually in California, there are actually people out there picking olives, and so they take them, they um, they pick them, they clean them. Um, it's, it's cooked and it creates this oil. It's a simple process versus like different types of oils where it's like manufactured. There's like too many, I, I call it like too many hands in a cookie jar, too much processing, too much refining, and it loses the integrity of the product. So that's why I always say pure is best because right. it's really one method of making that thing with one ingredient, one or two ingredients, and ingredients that we know, because there's, if you look at the back of a label, if you look at something, you're looking at the, looking at the ingredients, some of these names, I can't even pronounce. Like Xanthamum I can't gum? even spell. Xanthamum even like that. Something start with an yeah. so What is Xanthamum like, gum? What, I don't know. What I don't is know. that? What is that? But right. the pure maple syrup, it just says ingredients, maple syrup. Mm. That's all it said. Wow. I mean, they literally I just poked a hole in a maple tree and all that maple nectar came out. Like, it's That's literally amazing. like that. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. We're almost at the end of our show here, ladies and gentlemen. But I want to hear, Danica, one thing that I, I said that we were going to talk about today, and I would love for you to share a little bit more about your story. You talked mm -hmm. about being a child that uh, at a very young age and, and the weight thing. I, I love that you're so open and honest about this discussion because you've shared with me and you've talked about it and you said you wanted to talk to our audience tonight about the fact that it's not always easy. Even when you know better, it's not always easy to do better. Can you talk to us a little bit about, you know, even your own personal struggles or what you can share with us about healthy eating and a healthy lifestyle and how that is a challenge for a lot of people? Yeah, sure. So real quick, um, going back to what we said earlier today about the healthy part, what healthy eating is like eating to live versus living to eat. Um, and so um, back then um, I was, I enjoyed eating. I enjoyed eating and I, and I had it pretty much like an addiction or, or um, like an addiction to food. Like food was like an idol. Food filled a void in my heart. Food mm -hmm. filled a lot of pain that I was, that I was going through food. I used food when I was going through like different types of trauma and stuff like that. So although food is supposed to be comforting, food was my comforter. Mm. That's a difference. Wow. It was my comforter. So wow. food can be comforting. You can enjoy, you know, you're spending time with your family, you're cooking, you're eating. It's that, it's that bonding time, but I use it to fill a void in my heart. Wow. And so I, when I was I'm going through stuff, I, I did that. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's a lot of people out there that go through what that, what I call it is the emotional eating body image that leads to eating disorders. And that could be another topic, another show. Sure. But, you know, we use that food for comfort to fill that void in our heart. And I was doing that for a very long time. And I just did not know how to get out of that. But the way that I got out of it was I learned to flip it. So now it's about comforting others. I'm, I feel like this is a gift from God that he gave me this gift to use to serve other people, to help kids, to help adults. So it's like, I'm not alone. Like I, I, I'm doing stuff and I'm like a chef, but sometimes I don't feel like a chef. Cause I'm like, I didn't go to school. <laughs> I didn't get a degree in it, but I was so right. passionate about it. And that everything that I did, it just made a difference. It touched people's lives. Like a lot of stuff that I make, I don't care about, it's not about what I make or how I make it. 
it's how it's how it's it's about how do people feel about the things that I make. If it puts a smile on someone's face and it warms somebody's heart, that keeps me going. That's that's that food, that fuel for the heart. And that's why the business kind of changed. It's that sip saver soul. It's about touching people's hearts. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And like I said, God has blessed me tremendously. Oh, real quick. I got to share something about the Fox story. I need to share that real real quick if you don't mind. Okay, tell us the Fox story. Yeah, I got to tell you the Fox story. So you did the triple P salad, correct? Okay, the, that segment, the triple pea salad, was that the uh-huh. video you showed? Okay. It was it was blending some vegetables. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. I got to tell you about that. I got to tell you about that. So um, so they called me and told me, I need you to prepare the dish ahead of time because just in case we run out of time, I need you to go ahead and, and prepare it. So I made the dish the night before, and I kind of liked it. I made it so many times. I'm like, I don't know. I don't think I like I don't know. So anyway, we get halfway to Cleveland, and I forgot the dish. I left it at wow. home. <laughs> Got it. And my mother was like, what are you doing? I forgot you were on TV. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, I don't have this dish. But God blessed it because I made it live and it tastes amazing. And they ate it after the show. They loved it. They're like, this is the best That's pasta incredible. pesto I've ever had. So God blessed that. And I, I was really freaking out. But at the end, you made it through. It were, I made That's it through. Incredible, because we don't realize a lot of times on those live cooking shows. I mean, we see them pull the thing that's already done out of some oven somewhere, and we're like, "There's no way there was enough time to cook that." So they said, "Hey, make sure you have some already ready, because this is a short segment, and mm-hmm. you literally were making that live in front of everybody." I did. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, because I forgot that's it. <laughs> I forgot it at the house, so I made it. I made it live, so. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it, it's, this has been just a blessing and this gift right here, like I said, God gave me this gift and I want to use it for his glory. I never want him to feel like I'm doing it out of vain or I'm doing it for praise of man. I'm doing it to get recognition. I'm doing it to be on Fox. No, it has nothing to do, do about that because it's a, it's not about us. It's, it's yes. never about us. It's about him and it's about our people and, and being a servant. And so that's why I do what I do. Awesome. Dan, Danica, we really appreciate you being here today. Thank yeah. you so much for the live demonstration. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you. please show her some love. You guys, make sure you guys go follow her. You can follow her and find her on Facebook at sip.saver.soul. Make sure you put it in the sip.saver.soul <laughs> so that you guys can find her and, and join and follow her page. See what she's doing. She's been doing some great things. Um, she's been getting some deals. I see you're doing a lot of cool stuff. My youngest daughter had a chance to go to one of your classes. She not mm-hmm. only enjoyed herself and got to cook, she came home with some new cooking utensils, which we confiscated and we now use for ourselves. Thank you very much. But we really appreciate that. It was super cool. It was great having yeah. you here on our show. To our yeah, can I say one last daughter. I want to say one last thing if you don't mind. So what you said yes. about your daughter. We have a, I have a program called Connecting the Community with Cooking. And so I am partnering with an organization called Cooking Matters and Share Our Strength. And so what we're trying to do right now is bring families together through cooking. And so this program is not only providing um, uh, healthy food choices and recipe cards, um, all the food for these recipes that we make, but they are providing the, the utensils the kitchen equipment you need to make these dishes and they're providing it for free. That's incredible. Free. Yeah. Cause incredible. they want, they want people to learn. They want, like I said, they're, they're trying to bring families together and it's important for these adults to set example for these children. So, you know, if, if the parents are not eating healthy or not making healthy food choices, it's going to pass down to your children and you don't want your kids to have a lot of these, um, um, unhealthy behaviors, unhealthy food behaviors. You don't want them to be obese. You don't want them to have all these things. I, I've been there. It's not fun. So you do not have to pass that on to, to your children if you do the right thing. Thank you so much, Danica. We so Thank you. appreciate that. We appreciate those words of wisdom. There's claps coming through in the comments. People were really excited. Thank you again. I really Thank you. And I apologize the for the technical difficulties. Thank it's you again. Good. It's a part. This is Lucas Live. We're live and we're I know, right? It's about education, motivation, liberation. We want you guys to learn something today. We want you to be motivated to do something different. Take control of your life. 
Take control of your diet. Take control of your eating. Learn some healthy ways of making some of the things you love. You can have ice cream, but you don't have to have the traditional ice cream. There are alternatives out there. I'll make sure I get this recipe from Danica. Yes. We'll make sure we send it out, especially to those who are part of the inner circle. Make sure you join the inner circle by texting Lucas Live to 31996, and we'll make sure we get that out to you. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a wonderful crowd. You've thank been a you. wonderful audience. We thank you guys for another wonderful week here at Lucas Live. We will be back on YouTube only uh, this Saturday at 7 p.m. for game night, virtual game night. Tell your family, tell your friends. Get, you don't, you don't want to get together because, you know, there's some risk there. But uh, get your people together and have some fun and join us this Saturday night at 7 yes. p.m. Yeah. And cooking so is much. fun. Cooking is fun. It can be fun. We make it fun. Cooking is fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank Take you. It's been a wonderful crowd. We'll see you guys again next time. Everybody have a great night. All right. Thank you.